oh, if anybody wants a coaching session, get in touch. So I was like immediate because I was on the computer. And I got that session. And her encouragement is a big deal of why I'm standing right here. So she's first. And I would like to call, is Kat here, Kat Coppett? No. no. Darn. OK, well, she coached me also. I got the highest level coaching to do this. OK, so applause for her, even though she's not here. Someone else who's not here is Robert Lowe. He edited my proposals. Aww. And someone else who's not here, as far as I can tell, is Simo. Is he here? No. Why is, ah, anyway, um, he just encouraged me the very first time I showed up and started playing with me. And we have these two characters, um, I just forgot their names, Squeaky and Fluffy, <laughs> who always greet each other when they see each other. So I hope he's watching this. Are we videotaping? Yes. Hi, Zemo. Okay, and then two people who I hope really are here are Paul Jackson and Lisa Jacob. Come up. Come up. So, the, when I got here last time, I think I saw Paul right away, and I didn't know he was the president. <laughs> he was just like a normal person who was being nice to me. Just like a normal person. <laughs> Okay, so I have two of my six, that's good. Um, I would also like to call up everybody who came to my workshop yesterday who wants to come up. These are teachers from all over the world who are working on teaching conflict re resolution and ending bullying in schools. So would you please all come up with me? Okay. Those of you who are away. Huh? They're busy at work. They're busy at work, snoring, great. Okay. Oh, we have one out of 14? Okay. <laughs> okay, and then at the end of the party last night, um, I don't know the name of the man who was also doing this, but we were giving Reiki sessions to people who wanted them. So everybody who got an energy treatment last night, would you please come up as well? <laughs> I need a gang. And would you all stand like sort of behind me? Oh, come on. Where's Robert? Roberto? He's here. Oh, okay. <laughs> At least I have one. Okay. You know, it's not a good idea to have a party on Friday night. Next time, Saturday night. We will have more people. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounded very critical. That was bad. I have a suggestion. Okay, anyway. Okay. <laughs> so, and is, um, is Roma here? Or is he working in the bookstore right now? Come on up. Um, I promised him, I promised him I would not bring my sandwich on stage because that would be a bad thing to do. He was of two minds about it. As the organizer, he loved that. As the clown, he thought it would be swell. So, I did it. I brought an apricot. <laughs> I'm glad I have food on stage. Now, who, who thinks it would be funnier if I wore this as my nose or this as my nose? Apricot. Apricot. I'm going to be bad. And I don't know if it will work. It might not. <laughs> It won't work. You're lucky. <laughs> so this morning, I walked to the um, place where I got a taxi, finally. I was going to get the metro, but I couldn't find it. It was probably one block more. But anyway, um, I had painted on a little red on my nose. And you can walk around normally like this, and people just think you're some stupid mime or something. Which, by the way, mimes are not stupid. Um, and I knew I could not put my nose on to walk down the street. Because if I did, I might not be here yet, or I might have arrived with a hundred extra people, or who knows. Because clowns really improvise. Right? Right. Okay. Not at me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, what? Five minutes. Only five? Ah! Okay, I'm going to skip some stuff. <laughs> I'm putting my nose on, though, and I would like you all to pretend to put on a nose, too. When you put your nose on, 
Just putting a nose on doesn't make you a clown. Aww. You have to be in the mindset that you see the whole world as round and connected to you. Okay, put your nose on. Okay. Okay, hi. I'm Penelope. <laughs> I'm on stage in Paris. <laughs> you all believe that I could do this. Oh boy, I better do it, huh? Okay, so I have three songs. I don't know if we'll have time for all of them that could be anthems for AIM. So the first one is one that's on my CD. When I brought my CD, I was told we do not have the technical capabilities to play CDs anymore. <laughs> so I'm just going to sing you the first verse. And it's the philosophy of everything. Because people say, what is the meaning of life? OK? So here it goes. Life is life. Why is why. Cuz is cuz. And it's all is. That's the whole thing. <laughs> Everybody know the words. You want to try it with me? Life is life. Why is why? Cuz is cuz. And it's all is. Ta da! Closer to me for this next one. This one we're going to put up. What's um, <laughs> <laughs> so funny? Just, what? We're very supportive. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We're going to do a song that is from my one-woman show. So this is the little bit you get of my one-woman show. It's called Peekaboo. Okay? And um, the words are behind us so that you guys are going to have to turn around to do it. <laughs> can you all see the words? No. <laughs> okay, oh, now can you see that? Yes. Okay, good. Ah, adjusting for circumstances, always important. Include your audience. Okay, so. <laughs> so everybody, it starts with a peekaboo gesture, like peekaboo, I see you. Ready? Peekaboo, I see you, and I'm letting you see me. Now everybody, you have to do this, you have to stand up. We're standing up together for all humanity, for liberty and justice. For everyone one of us, for every single human being here on Mother Earth. Let's try that again. Ready? And peekaboo, I see you, and I'm letting you see me. We're standing up together for all humanity, for liberty and justice, for everyone of us. For every single human being here on Mother Earth. There's a big hug at the end. Here on Mother Earth. Okay, and so we have time for one verse, which I have to see which one I put up. Oh, yeah. Okay. As just one person, you might get scared and feel like you're all alone. But everyone here is family, and the Earth is our shared home. What's making? No matter what our colors are, our ages or relations. No matter where we were born, we're the children of all nations. Abu, I see you, and I believe you see me. We're standing up together for all humanity, for liberty and justice, for